I had the idea to illustrate it with these coffee cups. So I just borrowed from the lady who was in charge of coffees, took scissors, and I cut a few cups and placed them and did this demo. And actually, they like it because it's easy to understand. Carbon is one of amazing elements in the periodic table. And as, uh, as uh, many of us know, uh, it assembles in a variety of materials, uh, very important ones like diamond or graphite or discovered fullerenes. And uh, one of important variety, which is still subject of active research, is uh, carbon nanotubes. And one of the big challenges in nanotube uh, synthesis and nanotube production have been for two decades that they always emerge in a mix as a mixture. All kinds of helicities, chiralities mixed up and therefore very hard to separate them and very hard to target specific application where you need only one type. And from theory standpoint, it was really a puzzle. Why do they grow chiral? And you see this uh, shaking and vibrating. This is thermal motion. In the bottom, this slab is a catalyst particle. This is metal. It can be nickel, or it can be iron, or it can be cobalt. What is important is this interface. And as you see, interface has this uh, tight contact around, but also area where contact is not very tight. And that's exactly this uh, uh, inviting kind of spot and right now you saw that uh, new carbon dimer just jumped in. Uh, in this connection uh, we, we are quite excited. The insight that we obtained is not just satisfying but it also uh, hopefully will lead to engineering of a catalyst for a variety of specific targets and variety of applications that it may become possible to, to produce particular types of the tubes with the given properties separately from others in the labs and eventually in industrial setting. <laughs>